Now, for those of y'all right here in the front row, you may want to take a little step back away from the railing. This will give you a better view of our overhead monitors and keep you from getting too wet during the show. If there is water on the ground in front of you, chances are it's going to return during the show. A few safety reminders for everyone. If you would like to change rows at any time, please just head to the end of the aisle and then you may do so safely. Do not climb over or under the bars. Also, please do not sit, stand, or place any small children on the handrails. Thank you very much. Well, it looks like we got everybody here. Well, hello everyone. My name is Banks and I am the director here on the set today. Down there at the end of the dock is my assistant Dan. And we would like to welcome you to Disney's Hollywood Studios Backlot Tour. Now, your tour is going to begin today right here at our special effects water tank. Water tanks like this continue to play a major role in action films. Here, the explosive, out-of-control mayhem that you see in movies like Crimson Tide, The Rock, and Pearl Harbor can be created with the use of large-scale physical and mechanical effects. The action is then filmed as a carefully planned sequence of events. Now today, we're going to be shooting our own action sequence called Harbor Attack, using many of the same effects used by directors like Michael Bay in their films. In fact, here is Michael himself to help set the scene for us. In this scene, promo for a surveillance mission, search these guys for the aircraft, who's caught on guard in the real name of services for them to see. It's going to require a full range of physical effects, a split second turn, and a careful direction. We have the lights, we have the cameras, all we need now is the end. And if anyone knows serious action, it's certainly Michael Bay. The physical effects we'll be adding to the action in this scene today include water cannons. Pressurized up to 100 pounds per square inch. Bullets, which must be programmed in time to match the continuity of the visuals and eventually the pattern of the sound effects. The last and probably the most important physical effect in a scene like this is fire, which must be ignited at a precise moment. Because it takes a lot of work and time to reset the charges of an explosion. Of course, the number one consideration in the timing of all these effects is always the safety of the actors on the set. And that is where you come in. Everyone, this is Robin. Robin, you have been casting the ball in the can from our PT boat. Your scene takes place right there in that engine room. So if you call Dan right here, he's going to take you in position. And today we're going to be shooting two different scenes, but not in the order that they appear in the script. Most movies today are shot out of sequence, which, mean, which means that the actor has to react to a situation that hasn't even been filmed yet. This can be a real challenge. And it's the director's job to help him find the motivation for that scene. All right, Robin, now here's the setup. That phone right next to you is going to buzz just before 800 gallons of water come out of those tanks, down that chute, and then slam into you like a freight train. Do you feel the motivation to hang on? Good. Because actually, folks, between you and me, it's more like 1,000 gallons of water. But there is a real fine line between motivation and fear. All right, Robin, here we go. Remember, you just lost both of your engines. Places everybody. Roll playback. And action. All right, now pick up that phone, Robin. Talk to your captain. You lost your engines, let them know that. Keep talking, Will. Keep talking. Let them know you're going to be taking on a little bit of water. And cut. That is what we call the physical effect. Let's give Robin a big round of applause. She did a great job. Stacy. All right, now you did such a great job, we're going to give you another role. In this scene, all I want you to do is sit right there and act dry. All right, good job. Now we're going to insert that shot into our next scene, and you'll see how it all gets tied together in our final sequence. This next setup takes place right here on the deck of our PT boat, so let's meet the rest of our brave crew right now. Let's have a round of applause for our Captain Jamie and his wacky deck crew, Francesca and Marty. Woo! Woo! Captain on the set, who is standing by. Alright, thank you very much, Dan. Okay, places everybody. Roll playback. Remember, crew, you're on a surveillance mission. And action. Alright, Captain, pick up those binoculars. Search the sky for enemy fighters. You hear a plane approaching. Find that plane, Captain. There it is, enemy fighter at 10 o'clock. Alright, you're surprised, you're stunned, you're scared, you don't know what to do, you're being attacked. And you know you're in trouble because he's coming back around for another run. Captain, you need to get that PT boat out of there. Okay, yeah, alright, it's too late, you just shot out of reach and figure that phone, mechanic. Okay, deck case, what's that over here? Deck case, you see something out there? 
I think it is, yes it is, an enemy torpedo. Alright, you start to calm down, you think it's all over, and you start to relax. But then you hear more planes approaching. You look up, point to the sky. Enemy bombers at 12 o'clock. Bombs away, everybody, hit the deck. Just survived the aerial attack. But then you see two more torpedoes coming in fast off the stern. They pass right beneath your boat. You need to point to the audience, tell them to look out. And cut. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? Let's give them a big round of applause. They did great. Alright, let's take a look at what the entire sequence looks and sounds like when we add computer generated images, a few pre recorded lines of dialogue, and a rousing musical score. Please turn your attention up to those overhead monitors as we proudly present Harbor Attack. <laughs> Goodbye everybody, have a great day here at Disney's Hollywood Studios.